Yeah, my name is Ravi Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT, Bangalore. So today I'm here to explain the problems on cones. Okay, so cone. So something will come into picture is uh, you know it's like a ice cream cone ice cream okay so uh, cone yeah so cone they uh, you know if you're looking from uh, top of an object the cone is visible like a circle but if you're looking from front of an object the cone is visible like a triangle okay yeah so cone of 50 mm base okay and diameter okay 50 mm base diameter and 60 mm axis length rest on hp and one of its its generator okay so generator means is nothing but okay so uh, end end uh, edges okay the cone end edges are called as a generator okay and draw projection when it is inclined to vp at 30 degree okay yeah see it is similar to like slant triangle face and slant edge problem okay in the slant edge and slant triangle face we have we have seen that if the word appear is absent we call it as a locus okay similar way this also here the word appear is absent so we call it as a locus we have to find out the beta angle okay yeah so cone if you're looking from front top of an object it look like a circle yeah see circle then all you uh, know it, it the circle is divided into eight parts so we'll do the naming so a b c d e f g h okay then o and o1 okay o1 and o2 okay so next what we have to extend the projection line upward yeah projection line then you have to take a axis side is how much 60 so axis side is 60 then you have to join okay so this is the thing so these end edges are called as a generator okay these two are called as generator okay so do the naming yeah naming is done so next is what second position so the rest on hp on any one of its generator means this generator any one of its generator especially we go with a resting side so resting is point e okay so this generator will be placed on x y line so we have to place it on x y line see the generator is placed on x y line yeah so the naming is done next is what you have to draw projection line see here uh, the mainly concentrate on outer edges okay we'll not concentrate on what are the uh, visible and invisible edges inside the body okay so we'll concentrate on more so yeah if you're looking from top of an object this complete face is visible so we'll draw with the help of visible line next we have to take only uh, outer edge outer edge what so g and c okay these two are outer edges so we'll consider only outer edges okay so this complete the second position will not consider uh, all other points only consider about the outer edges okay yeah so uh, next is what so next we have we have to find out the third position so third position he has already discussed uh, in the problem means you know appear word is absent so uh, it is a locus problem okay it's similar it's nothing like uh, uh, your slant triangle face and slant edge problem so here uh, for this you have to take axis is inclined to 30 degree but it's, it, since it is a locus problem we have to find a true length and apparent length so true length is always get it from the first position apparently will always get it from the second position so this 60 mm is a true length and from o to o1 is a apparent length so we have to take inclination with vp then take a true length okay then draw locus line okay use apparent length from this point you cut an arc then extend this to a point and then extend this to x y line you can find out the beta okay so the, the beta is final next is what you have to take this axis and you place it on beta okay yeah placed clear so what next you have to extend the projection line upward so here also we'll con concentrate on only end points okay we'll not consider uh, if eight points only we'll consider only two end points okay yeah so if you're looking from bottom of an object so this complete circle in a, it's a, like an ellipse okay this complete ellipse is visible so we have drawn with the help of visible line next is what we have to join okay end point end point what uh, i can i think you can join by e and you can join uh, b okay or you can join a okay so b yeah so only uh, b and e uh, we have joined okay these two are a hand generators okay so this complete the cone problem very simple is what so we please don't consider all the hit points only consider last two end projectors that is enough for cone okay we'll go for next uh, problem and this completes the cone problem and if the generator word appear in the problem it understood that it is a locus problem okay so it's uh, nothing like a, uh, a slant triangle face and slant edge problem the next problem in the cone yeah next problem in the cone see 40 mm diameter base diameter and axis height is 50 resting on hp on a point on circumference of its base such that f x is 40 mm above hp 
okay it's a top view of axis is inclined to uh, inclined at 60 degree to vp so draw front view of the solid also determine inclination when axis is near to the observer yeah see we have to find and this is one of the uh, different problem like uh, similar to all other problems. See here uh, they give they are not given an inclination with HP but they give an inclination with VP. So but we have to find out inclination with HP. Okay. So how to find it? Yeah. So first you take a 40 mm on uh, HP. Okay. So construct a circle then all join eight points are you know divided into eight, eight parts then you can do the naming. So this is a top view of an object. Next you can extend the projection line take 50 mm height then join this so it look like a triangle so what next you have to do the naming okay so the naming is done next is what you have to draw 40 mm line in the second position see see you have to draw 40 mm line above the hp above hp is always it's a front view okay so above hp so we have to draw 40 mm then see the circumference means what so this is a circumference means this point should be placed uh, sorry uh, this point should be placed above 40 mm means o1 should be placed it in above 40 okay you can see 40 yeah the point o is placed on on 40 mm line okay so this circumference should base uh, touches a xy line and the apex should touches the 40 mm line so this and you have to extend this axis line to a xy line and you have to find out the angle how much angle you will get okay so this is a second position see please please be careful you have to draw 40 mm line above line then you have to measure it then you have to place a point e on uh, point then you have to rotate apex should touches the 40 mm line okay then you have to draw projection line downward yeah projection line downward next if you looking from top of an object the everything is visible okay so we have to draw with uh, you know this complete uh, edges are visible but this complete edges are invisible like uh, d f e are invisible okay this is invisible lines so we have to use an invisible line see red color lines are invisible line. this complete the second position see third position and the base is near to the observer the base is near to the observer means this base should be near to the observer so apex should be away from the observer that is why how you can place this okay so at 60 degree vp see if you rotate you can observe the base is completely near to the observer apex is away from the observer okay so this thing is satisfied here okay so next draw projection line upward yes drawn next is what so bottom face is completely visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line next only two edges only two any two any two uh, generators will be joined that's it complete okay so cones are very simple problems and very easy to solve okay comparing with the prisms okay and the thing is only you have to understand little little logic here okay so generator means it is a generator given means it is a locus problem okay so generator is placed on xy line if the generator were given so here the circumference of its base such that apex is 40 mm above hp means apex is what o is apex that is other from the uh, 40 mm from hp Okay, so this completed the problem. This completed the cone problem. Okay, thank you.